Hey, Anton here, and you're watching Antunes. So, today I'm gonna show you something that I got in the mail. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can't. So, here we have the address. And where it came from and look at here what is his name John Dilworth wow do you know who John Dilworth is Trisha Trisha do you know do you know who it is I bet you don't but you want to find out don't you for all the people who have never heard about this man, we're gonna find out who he really is. Let's find out. As soon as I open this envelope, the right way to open it. Oh okay. yeah, there's a cardboard inside. Yeah. Wow. I'm excited. I know you are too. Use your claws to tear this envelope apart. Come on. Come on, scratch it open. Or bite it. Slash it. You just want to smell it, don't you? Wow. Let's get this thing. Pull it out. There we go. Tracked and sure. Okay. United States Postal Service. That's nostalgic. Because, as some of you may know, I was living in the US a long time ago. So, haven't seen that logo in a long time. Priority Mail Express. Ooh. Now then, what is it? What is it? What is it? That's a blank page? Really? That's it. No. That can be right, can it? Trisha. You disappointed? Well, I am a bit. But maybe if you flip it over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can you believe that? That is... <laughs> You're more excited about it for the phone little thingy. <laughs> well, I have to say that I love this. I love this. <laughs> Got this little handshake, <laughs> Mr. Freaks with Freaky Fred from Courage of a Cowardly Dog, of course. For some of the young people here on this channel, I guess you have never seen the show, but 
it used to be quite iconic in the uh, late I, I think it's late late 90s early 2000s probably early 2000s more um, it's a pretty special show it definitely stands out among all the other a series at the time and still to this very day I would say Courage Recovery Dog is probably one of the best or the most the, the most unique shows out there um, we will probably never see this type of show on a children's network ever again because of the sensors and my feelings and um, yeah the new environment that the social justice warriors want the TV to be in is probably going to make it impossible to, for us to see something really uh, weird and creepy and maybe offensive to some people. But here we have even a message here to my colleague Anton. So good to know another freak. Stay courageous. <laughs> John R. Dilworth. Wow. I have to say. Oh, I. I I just noticed. I just noticed he has this uh, the, the the buzzer. Uh, what is it called in English? The buzzer uh, to cut the hair. You gotta love the grin. I mean, it's it's glorious. It's it's exactly as I remember him in the show. <laughs> uh, that episode was uh, probably one of my favorite, really, uh, because it it's it kind of it it captured the essence of this character perfectly in, in that short amount of time what was it like 10 minutes or something where <laughs> where Bricky Fred was uh, shaving courage for Carly dog and uh, he would he would have this catchphrase uh, well not a catchphrase but I guess his favorite word was naughty <laughs> and that that big wide grin makes it <laughs> so darn creepy but at the same time very uh, very well what's the correct word you well no i mean unique is, is kind of a bland word for it what's a good word for freaky fred to have um a perfect description of him maybe yeah just just Perfectly freaky is, is, is the best description to give him and that name fits him better than any I think. <laughs> I also love the little, little legs, uh, the, the, the little shoes he has compared to his giant head. It, it looks kind of cute, you have to admit that. <laughs> and also the tall long legs. I, I identify quite uh, well with this. Um, character because of, of the legs. I, I have, I, I would say, maybe a little bit of normally long legs. Even my um, Pilates trainer told me that that I have long legs, and she cut and she kept bringing it up once in a while, all the time uh, during our training sessions. But yeah, that is true. I do have quite long legs. Um, can't probably see very well from here, but maybe uh, maybe you can see some photos later um, in full view. But yeah, Mr. Freaks is quite excited that he has met the character now, um, who shares sort of a similar name and the grin and uh, maybe the attitude a little bit of being this um, controversial, to say the least figure in the animated world um, but yeah I, I would say this is this is a perfect match in the cartoon world that would be great to to animate one day I, I think it would be it would be really amazing what, what do you say what do you say people should this should this be an episode an official episode even one day I think it should be. I really think so. All right, Th thank you, Mr. Dilworth. This is amazing. It's 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 one of the best drawings I've ever gotten. Thank you so much. Bye bye.